Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. In the previous episode we finally, finally reigned victory over the goblin camp. After that we uh we turned we uh we returned to our camp and had a little bit of a celebration with the uh with the tieflings. Uh they all came and visited the camp and we uh we partied. We also shared a little bit of an intimate uh, moment with Shadowheart, so that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think we're ready to uh, to get started here. Um, is there anything anybody wants to say today? How much farther can I go? Oh, Shadowheart does have something to say, actually. We get along quite well, I think. All's well, I hope. Of course, unless something's the matter. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked. I thought you were going to kiss me. I was almost sure of it. Um, I should have kissed you. That night meant a lot to me. I hope there's more to come. You first. Perhaps we got carried away. I value your, com your company, but not like that. Okay, so I have like the nudity and all of that stuff disabled uh, for this playthrough. So I kind of thought that we did more than that and it just faded to black. Okay, I, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll say the first option. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Okay. Um, to, to, oh, these are just her standard options. Um, yeah, well, we can talk more later. I kind of want to go back to the druids and, uh, yeah, I kind of see how they're doing. Um, first, maybe giving Gail something to eat here might be good, if we even have anything. Oh, yeah, we did get a few... Hmm. This is really good. It's not super useful for everybody on the team currently. It's good for um uh, for Asterian, but he hasn't. He's not really on the team, <laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna bring him back. Honestly, I feel like what we have right now is uh kind of a good powerhouse combo. So um. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might save it for another time just in case something happens. Alright. Let's, let's leave the see. camp and go talk with the druids. Now, they did say that they were closing off the grove. So I'm wondering if we can even go back there. Uh, the answer is probably yes, considering I'm inside of it now. Um, oh, this is Kaga. Kaga. Finally, we'll be rid of the Outlander's infernal stench. The last prayer will be spoken, and the rite will conclude. When the coming army swarms, the Brambles will keep us safe. I suppose you want thanks. I'm sure the Tieflings have plenty. Um, Halsin is dead. I thought you should know. Halsin, gone. He turned his back on the circle to stumble after the past. How fitting that it's consumed him. Well, a broodmother looks forward, never back. I am first druid now, and I will keep my children safe. Okay. Yeah, I think we kind of got the bad ending for these guys, unfortunately. Um, do you have anything to say? So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Um, I'm just glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. I want to trade if you have anything. Of course. Uh, he probably just has his standard... Yeah, pretty much everything he's already had. 
All right. Nothing completely I new here. Keep balance. And oh, is it just me? Oh, I just realized everybody else is uh I guess they're back at the camp. All right. Oh, well, that's fine. I can just walk around on my own here for a bit. This place feels a little empty now. I mean, I guess this is just where the tieflings were uh, staying. I guess the, all the druids were down in the center of the grove. Without a first druid, exactly as we've always done. Tend this grove. Nothing has changed. You did this grove a great favor. And now leave the rest to us. All right. Uh, Mark. I think it's high time you all left. Our sacred grove has sheltered you enough. Where were you during the attack? Within the inner sanctum, of course. It is not for us to fight your battles. I'll be on my way soon. <laughs> you disgust me. Uh, I'll be on my way soon. Make it quick. You're disrupting the harmony of this holy place. Was a first druid. None of us can match him in power. Yeah, it seems like there's uh, two factions kind of forming, or were forming. I guess there's only one now. Uh, those that liked um, Elson and those who liked uh, Margaret or whatever her name was. This strange ox is still here. Okay. That's got to be a druid or something. Just. Oh. Okay. Um, travel worn chest. It's not considered stealing. Um, do I even have any lock picking things on me? No, I don't. That's all right. Uh, hopefully we can come back uh, later. Eventually. Um, there's a bear over there. Mino, Mino. The tieflings have gone. Good. I wish them well, but they crowded us for far too long. Right. Not much to say. It looks like. We wasted so much time fighting each other. Sylvanas taught us a lesson by letting an outsider save us. Topaz. All right. <laughs> I mean, I guess I didn't expect too much from a from a bird to say much. We're free of the goblins, but the grove is changed, wounded. The days ahead won't be easy, but we'll manage. We have to. You think you saved us? You just prolonged the inevitable. Sooner or later, other outsiders will bring trouble to the grove. Okay. I know you stopped the goblins, but I can't stop looking over my shoulder. It makes it hard to sleep at night. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we didn't exactly save the grove <laughs> we tried our best but yeah it uh it's not gonna end well in the future i don't think wrath do you have anything to say may he rest in summer oak forever i i apologize i must have some time to myself All right he was friends with helson no traps, please. And Neric, uh, The Nettie. goblins may be gone, but it cost Master Halson his life. I'm sorry neither of us could save you from that tadpole. I hope it ends well for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, coming back here is a little bit sad. All right, well, I think we talked to everybody, and it doesn't seem like there's much. Um, there is one more person I want to talk to, but they're sort of outside of the grove. Um, is this the right way? Yeah. I think it was up this way is how you get to it. Yeah, up and to the right. Oh, interesting. She's uh she's not here. All right. I guess she just went with the uh, with the tieflings. I guess that makes sense. She is a tiefling. I wasn't sure if she was like part of them or not. Or okay. So what I want to do from here? Oh, she just like teleported over there. First off, I'm gonna go back to camp and uh, <laughs> grab everybody. Go ahead and group. Group all. Group. What? Where is everybody? Oh, I bet I know what happened. Okay. They probably left the camp, same as me, but now they're where I started out. So they're probably at the entrance to the grove. Yeah, they should. I thought they would be here. Let me look. Oh, they're all the way... They're over here. I'm just gonna teleport over there. Hello, everybody. Group all. Here we go. Alright, so where... Where do we go from here? Probably down this way. I would expect there's probably nothing here, although there is a little pathway right there. Actually, no, that's the that's the courtyard. Yeah, there's definitely a ton of goblins here waiting for me, so I should be able to just pass through here. Um, hopefully the Blighted Village, and I'm actually not going to teleport there. Uh, hopefully the people or the the goblins at the uh at the Blighted Village aren't hostile to me. If so, we're gonna have to fight a ton more goblins again. And by the way, I am curious. Yeah, I'm still really far away from uh, reaching level 5. It definitely feels like leveling has slowed down a little bit, which I definitely enjoy. I kind of like uh, slower leveling. Okay. Go this way. <clears throat> All right. I don't see anybody immediately What's trying here? to fight. Let's see, oh. I guess I never looted these bodies? Or are these new? They could be new. Um, oh, it 
Red pepper. Interesting. Ooh, what's that? Goblin's drawing. Can I read it? Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Ah, that must be the the leaders of uh, the leaders of the goblins. That's kind of cool. All right, don't ambush us, please. Oop, what did I just do? <laughs> Let's see. They seem to be yellow highlighted. And okay, they're not attacking us. Good. I guess word just hasn't made it back to this place yet. Or maybe this is just a completely different group of goblins. I don't know. A bit odd that they would be literally right next to each other, but that's how it goes sometimes. We... You know, I haven't gone this way yet. Kind of curious on what's over here. Just an old wagon. Let's keep going or back around. Okay. Assuming this is just sort of a sideway around the village. So if you don't want to fight the goblins, you can just come this way. Hello, friends. Let's see, there was something. Something bit me. Oh. Just an insect. I'm sure you'll survive. Besides, it probably figured you for a tasty treat. <laughs> Give me an abaleth over a midge any day. I have no idea what either of those words is. Alright, uh, down this way. I thought I saw some text. Yeah, here we go. Demir. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. Oh. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We we won't ask again. Interesting. I uh, failed an insight. Um, how about you all just calm down? What's going on here? Lower your weapons. She's just an old woman. Um, how about you all just calm down? What's going on here? Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? I won't let you hurt this woman. I'm not getting involved. Tell the truth, what did you do to their sister? Huh. I mean, if I ask her to tell the truth, then she... Tells the truth, I mean, that's good. Uh, tell the truth, what did you do to their sister? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love! Oh. Fat lot of good you are! Some Is she a hag, then? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed, and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Oh. Yep, Bloody she house. was, uh, definitely a she hag. She disappeared! Or a uh, seen nothing like that before. caster she of some could sort. Fireworks out of a backside for all I care. The hug has Rina. Will someone please tell me what's going on? Well, good luck with that. No, tell me what's going on. It's our sister, Marina. She's, well, she was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, alright? We need to get her back, and fast! 
Let me, I'll bring Marina home. You're on your own. I have enough problems. I'm sorry. I wish you luck in finding her. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll bring Marina home. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving hmm? Rena to you. But, Joel, not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. Okay. Weird that Shadowheart, uh, didn't like that. Save me, Rena. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. probably down here. Um, okay. Weird that we don't have a quest marker for it. I feel like going into a swamp right now is not the best idea, but okay. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Investigation, look for anything out of the ordinary. Ooh, by the way, I'm gonna customize my die. Here we go. I thought I had more options, but maybe not. Yeah, I kept on forgetting that, so here we go. EC20, wow. I do have four bits of inspiration. I think I'll just use it here. Come on. Need a 16. Nine. All right. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Interesting. Oh, wait. Where I... Hey, yeah. Uh, never mind. Sorry about that. The loving note. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me, Auntie E. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what is that? A sheep? It looks like a trap. Oh, it looks like a trap? The wicker baskets, presumably. She has a sheep lot of sheep. Wobbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Drop your eyes and carefully reach out. Jeez. I feel like the DCs are getting really high in this area. Wheezing, the sheep backs away. You know, when I think of sheep, I always think of polymorph. That might just be the wow brain in me. Oh. What was that? Spike trap. Did everybody get hit by that? How did everyone get hit by that? All right. I guess I just have to let the... I don't know what open wound does. All right. Well, that's a good little bit of damage. Um, yeah, this area is definitely trapped. Might be a good idea to take things slow from here. Just go a little bit at a time. So I'm thinking, is that some sort of house or something? It's really hard to tell from here. Um, I see bloody bodies back this way. Let me investigate this way first. Oh. We met these brothers. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's really bad. Exists. That's very bad. Um... You have restoration. Disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. Disease. Okay. That is a second level spell, which kind of feels bad, but here we go. Alright. 
at least things have stayed interesting. Another sheepy. Need to find a way forward. Okay, I'm just gonna move like a square at a time. There we go. Demir? Wait. Demir. Isn't that the guy I just talked? Oh, these are the guys that I literally just talked to. Uh oh, that is uh not great. Tattered letter. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon. So not a word to ma'am, all right? Uh, she has enough on her plate. Marina. Okay. Let's get this uh, waypoint. Okay, I can see a little bit more of this area now. And we have more ways to explore this way too, okay. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be right in front of me, okay. So I think I'm gonna sh- oops, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I'm gonna short rest here just to get everybody maxed out again. Just move slowly ahead. Actually, I want to go side path. Hmm. Okay. Should we be sneaking? That is always a great question. He knows that I know that she's a hag. I know that she knows that I know she's a hag. So it might just immediately drop us into combat. Alright, let's just go for it. Okay, looking around a bit. Oh, I see her right there. What's up for discussion? I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. You'll get no apology from me, Hag. You must have mistaken me for someone else or attacker. I mean, what if I do want to say sorry? I mean, I do kind of feel bad for just outing her. Um, you'll get no apology from me, Hag. I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. That's Marina. I have some bad news for her. The lady doesn't seem to be enjoying her dinner. Do you treat all your guests so poorly? Um, the lady doesn't seem to be enjoying her dinner. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. Oh. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? How do you know that? That's none of your concern. Don't change the subject. Why is that woman really here? Yeah, how do you know that? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flare anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? I know a devil that's offered to remove it. Depends on the price. Yes, get this damn parasite out of me. I'll take my chances on my own. Depends on the price. Well, 
That depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. Oh. I'll pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. You want one of my eyes? Why? Will my sight be damaged? You have a deal. That's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. You want one of my eyes? Why? I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. Yeah, it's figures. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Mm. Will my sight be damaged? A touch, but sure you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. True. Don't really need two eyes. <laughs> You have a deal. That's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. I really don't think it's a good idea to make a deal with a hag. It might even be a worse deal than dealing with a devil. Um, I'll try my luck elsewhere. Thank you very much. Ethel, can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. Oh. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettle is here for you. I mean, I guess we kind of made friends with, with her. Um, I kind of want to know where the girl oh, went, sweetness. though. You going to give me one of those precious peepers? Hmm. Ta-ta, Petal. Come see Auntie soon. I was going to ask her where the girl went. Um, there is a ladder there. She could be upstairs. You know, she has kind of a nice home, actually. A toad teapot. Letter from M. The letter begins in an ele elegant cursive, but ends in a harsh, sloping scrawl. Ethel, horses are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed at least four of their agents. None have talked. Not yet, at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleeding of your ridiculous sheep, but if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and this ladder just leads here. Yeah, I don't I don't know where the girl went. Things an illusion. We could get through here. Oh. 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 Uh-oh. Probably should have snuck in. Uh, okay, that's bad. Okay, what level is she? Level 5, but she has 112 uh, HP. And she's completely invisible right now. Um, I think I'll send the imp out here to just possibly tank a hit. Oh, there's a... Oh, a red cap? Interesting. Hmm. Well, we can have him fly out here, probably. Or maybe not. Let's have him dash then. Maybe have him distract the red cap. All right. What should I do? Shadowheart, honestly. Just Ooh, will will the hag have fireball? I think I want everybody to just kind of spread out a bit. Um I should have done this first, but shield of faith on 
Rhaegar, if she can do it. Oh, she would have to move back down. Oh. Oh. There's even more enemies coming in. Great. All right, we'll just shield the faith on Karlak. End our turn there. Will, you can move um, up here. Up here. Why didn't you use the stairs? I don't know. Eldritch Blast, the red cap. Missed, of course. And we should have hexed first. That's my bad. Uh, we'll go for Dex, in case we need a Sacred Flame. Alright, good. Carlac, uh, get ahead of Will if you can. Let's see. Okay, she is right here facing that way. The map is a little bit confusing right now. Because um, it kind of feels upside down. Alright, um... I mean, I don't know where the hag is. I could try to get all the way over there, but I feel like I need her to intercept the hag. Where do I go from here? And we'll just have him come so out here. Can carry me. Ooh, I should have gone over here, actually. Can I hit anything from... Just barely not. Oops, I didn't mean to press space. Oh, well. <laughs> Bloodlust. Interesting. right there friends. Bye bye. is she leaving oh she's going further into the dungeon i see okay that's actually kind of good for us it uh it breaks up the fight a little bit makes it so that we're not fighting on so many fronts at the same time um in which case Shadowheart, just come back down here, I guess. Um, you can make it a little bit further. Can you... Let's see, does that guy have the... No, it was that guy. So... We'll just go for a fire bolt. Uh, what's the sacred one do? Yeah, 60%. Ah, of course. All right, we're good there. Hellish Rebuke. Nice. That did a lot of damage to him. Nice. Wow, this guy has a lot of health. Oh, and he does so much damage. What did Will take damage from? Bleeding? Interesting. Alright, um, Eldritch Blast, or... Yeah, we already used our hexes. Wait, is... Why can I use Chromatic Orb? Oh, I can use it once per short rest. Or once per long rest. Yeah, long rest. I see. So, yeah, I should definitely be using this as often as I can. And actually, you know what? Let's move up ahead for him. Staying out no of time to waste. Um, opportunity there. And I'm actually just going to hurl this. Doesn't even really matter if it hits him. Yeah, we'll just have it hit him. And that should leave a little thing here. Yeah, that'll prevent them from uh, being able to um, 
move in here or take fire damage. <laughs> Alright, Karlak, just go for a melee hit. Good, and Frenzy. Good. Karlak and Will are looking really hurt right now, so I think Shadowheart's next turn will be... I just spent a little cheese. What the heck? All right, time to get in there. Um, I don't want to action surge yet. And I don't think I can give... Or, no, I can't. All right, let's just shove him. Why not? Oh. Imp's turn. We're going to get right behind him. Go for a stinging attack. Nice crit. Alright, everybody's looking pretty hurt right now. Uh, so I'm going to send out some big heals here. We'll go cure wounds on Will. Oh wait, that's melee. Bonus action, healing word. Probably on Will again, maybe? I don't know, that guy was able to do a lot. So I don't want to use my... My attacks. I'm actually going to move Shield of Faith. Actually, no, that would use up one of my heals. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to move her back a little bit here. Okay. All right, I might just have him disengage here. Let's see, where's disengage? There we go. <laughs> Finding my way. Good. And I guess I could have gone for the offhand strike first, but I think I just needed him out of there anyway. Nice. Is he just hunting down Will? Like what? Oh, he's going for my healer. Bastard. Okay. Um, this one is threatening my healer. So I think I go after it first. Can I do anything here? I could menacing attack. Or sweeping. I don't think uh, sweeping would do anything. Oh, I'm actually... Yeah, that would provoke there, unfortunately. Alright. Come on. Action surge. We gotta get this. Is he gonna do it? Yellow? Okay, I guess the animation was played a little bit weird there. Um. Yeah, that would provoke. Let's just try to move him out of the way. Here we go. Alright. Um, this path is no longer blocked off, but it should be fine if we just move him in and do a sting at him. Good. And maybe just move him back here a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Shadowheart. Absolute power. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, we miss, of course. I swear we miss every single time. Especially with her. Alright, I'm gonna healing word myself. There we go. Hopefully she doesn't die next turn. Okay. Oh, 
overall not too bad for us. Let's try to get this guy down, please. Okay. Well, he can still melee attack, so... Let's go for it. Nice. And, uh... Yeah. I think, honestly... I want to move him, like, right here, maybe. For another round. Karlak can honestly probably solo this guy this round. We go for the concussive smash. Here we go. Nice. She is pretty hurt right now. Uh, does she have any potions? Does. Okay. Uh, this might get her killed, honestly, if I move her up right now. Um, I've got it. I think I'll just have her move over here, though. Good, that should be nice. Saved, good. Yep, and I can also go ahead and move up. And... If I throw my weapon, I'm probably going to be screwed a little bit. I want to try it out eventually, but probably not on dangerous enemies like this. So I think we'll go for a menacing crossbow attack. And we miss. Why wouldn't we? Get right up in this guy's face. Go for a sting. Miss. Act fast. Heading there. Go for a firebolt, which is probably gonna miss. Oh wait, oh I hit I hit our imp instead of him. That's That's uh definitely a big brain move right there. Alright, Carlock, you need a little bit of heals go. Alright, Will. Fleet of foot. Um, can you move your hex? I guess not. Is Bone Chill... Let's see, it prevents the target from healing. Now oh, we'll just Eldritch Blast. Nice. I'll just have him stay back here. Ooh. Yeah, it was kind of bad, actually, that we... Oh, no, because this guy didn't get knocked back, actually. Oh, she can actually hit from here. Good. And Frenzied Strike. Nice. Super close to being dead. Try for the crossbow. Nice. Alright, that was a uh, pretty dangerous fight. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, <laughs> I definitely did not expect to uh, get into a fight here. I mean, I kind of did. Um, Wispweed. Interesting. Anything of use? Well, I thought we were going to fight... Just the hag by herself. And then it turned out we did the opposite. Alright, let's just loot these last bodies here. Bone cap. And a little bit of gold. Cool. Alright, but I think that that is where we're going to end things off for today. Um, in the next one, I guess we're going to try to pursue this, uh, this hag and hopefully get her to, uh, to hand over the, uh, the girl that was kidnapped or missing or however it worked out. Anyway, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.